Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We just reloaded into the map. I was looking for a number, apparently there was no number to put there because this is an off spin off, that one. We don't want inventory, we want journal. No, actually, no, we want map. Map is the best way to see exactly what we can do in this area, and I think that area currently offers us these things to do. There's also things to talk about upstairs. Now I'm kind of unsure whom do I want to talk to first. Let's see about here. Who are you? Please address concerns first with Director Addison. One must obey protocol. That's fair. Do you we've already talked to? Addison. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Thank you. Can we talk more? Yes, Pathfinder. Uh, can you tell me more about the current Andromeda viability? How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract. It's lives, our foothold. Get out there, Ryder. Pathfind, we're dying. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of Cryo. I want to avoid that entirely. For reasons. Reasons? That's it? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Okay. Hello again, Pathfinder. I've been digging, and there are serious concerns about Spender. And this relates to your job as Pathfinder how? It relates to your job. <sighs> Three, four, five... Right. I've had a year and a half of doing everything with nothing. A thousand people riding me. Spender, shit as he is, helps. So, Pathfinder, if you've accusations to make, be certain. I'll drop trouble like a hot rock, but I can't lose people over suspicions. We don't have the people left. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. Director Addison? Pathfinder. Okay. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelet without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people and how all our lives begin. I deal in full colony blocks of specialists. 
I can make individual requests, but we should start the overall system first. All right, Brekka. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. That sounds really, really difficult. Okay, we have one cryopod point available. Okay. Wait, cancel. We can do lab technicians or lab or mining operations. There's also improved de development and expanded field analysis once these things are upgraded. We've got munitions, hunting parties, special forces, recon, and apex tactics. Vestility. Always prepared. And... X and more XP. And commerce. Hmm. I think I will start off with mining operations because... That sounds like a good thing to have. One rewards to collect. Co collect all rewards. And that's all I can do with this for now. Cool. Uh, did they have any other quest markers up there? Colonial Affairs. Ah, yes. We can now talk about the individual requests, since we have done, pulled out some minings. Pathfinder. AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we're living. Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said, come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. It feels more like living. Oh, that's that again. How may I assist? What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> I have a specific person I want brought out of Cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there'll be no doubt that you're responsible. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder. I'm not entirely sure whom I asked to... Whom I asked for. Anyway, we now again have progress... Well, uh, tasks in the Prodromus. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? 
A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you. I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Nifty. A reminder, you have AVP outstanding. Oh, do I? I have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. Okay, well. We also just dinged. So let me take a look. We can get Nova up to another level. What did I want? More damage radius or more force? Yeah, I think that's the one I want. Then I want anti-shield, I think, because we have had a lot of shield issues. Hmm. I think I might want to go shield powered, but that is that is quite painful. Oh, and I can get some barriers going. That sounds good. And let's get some of some offensive biotics as well. Confirm and exit. That is once again the wrong. Oh no. Did I just nullify every, every choice that I had made? Yes, it did. True. And pull. There's also Shockwave. With Shockwave, I could turn Nova into something far more powerful. So I think I might actually do that. So let's put those points in. And I will then take that one level of barrier. And then we will look into getting more of the passives going uh, as we continue on. Okay, what's this? Nexus level 2. Cool. So we have EOS at 80% and 4 unknown planets. 
And I guess that is Ryder. Yeah. And the Buffinder Center is now all like actually sizable. Donated to the Andromeda Initiative Historical Records Council, all dates are in common era. 1985 to 1992, Chiyoto, first ESA a deep space mission, first ESA mission to intercept an asteroid, launch of the Hubble Space Telescope, Elissas, Hugin's Mars Express. Okay, so this is. This seems mostly humanity stuff. Cora, how are you doing here? The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's health, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Can't relax yet. The initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Well, you'll get to sleep most of it out. Humanity's first crewed ion engine starship built using technology proven by the ESA Smart Probe in 2003 Common Era. Normandy Assault 2, secret acquired blueprints of the SSV Normandy Assault 2, a uh, stealth frigate based in design, Skoda, but the Systems Alliance and Turians. A model of the Ramuna, an early Turian starship, and the first trial beyond the mass relay. Alright, well. I still have more things to discuss with you, then. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's Fuck like all. nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Yeah. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. Okay. We have resolved that. Could have done it differently, but... We probably can't charge him for attempted murder now, now can we? <laughs> All right, you are... Not Dan. You're Dan's assistant named Aid, apparently. And we can't talk to you specifically, which is unfortunate to say the least. Because I want to talk to everyone. Yeah, get on that couch. Yeah, get on that staircase. Climb over everything. Okay, anything else we can do in this part of the ship right now? Uh, yeah, we apparently had AVP we could use, right? Probably from the meeting. So let's take a look at this again. And we know ha we don't have any points in this. Wait, are there multiple tabs? No. So I don't know what Sam was talking about. Because there is nothing we can do there. Is he released yet? Yeah, he is. Oh, there they are. I can't believe it. You're free. Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. Make sure you control yourself better in the future, Nilkin. 
What? What does he mean by that, love? I'll tell you later. Let's just get home. All right. So I guess we're gonna go to another spot of the Nexus now, since we finished our business here in the operations center. Is that what it's called, operations center? Probably. So now we have options of Prior Bay, and Docking Bay. Uh, docking Bay is very much want to go when we want to leave the place. So we still have some time left to go on that. Also, I can no longer just uh, speed through this. Like I used to just uh, increase the speed of the transport, but now there's audio in the background. People are talking. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we have some. A couple of talks here and there. This is not good. Damned exiles. Wow. How are you how are you doing? You want to talk? You want to talk, sir? Boy, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. The alternative would be to see what we can do about bringing them back into the fold, maybe? That sounds... Like an improvement. The information wall here. Does it become more informative as things go Welcome, by? Pathfinder. Please select a topic. No. It does not become more informative. Or maybe it does. Why is my cursor in the middle of the screen? I don't want it there. So you had a Harry, something what's to discuss? happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma, but she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. I wouldn't think that's even possible. You and me both, but Sam, well... I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. They're in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? I don't know how to say this, but he's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But it's Dad. He can't die. He... I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about finding home? Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. But Dad said. Sarah? I. Am I dreaming? Where am I? Sarah, I'm sorry. Her pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I need to go now. 
That's enough. It's too stressful. I was being too honest. Let's be honest. Sarah. Yeah. I don't want her to wake up to lies, you know? Alright, let's go to the habitation deck now. Apparently people are waking up in need of a drink. That's good to know. Okay, what do we have here? We have... Some supplies here. And then we also have the... Need to go and talk to... Sam. Who are you, Miss Angry Woman? It's you. You, Pathfinder. I have a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and will all soon follow. This might be my dad's mess, but I will clean it up. Talk about ego. You're no different from him. You think you can do this all yourself. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Not sure what we're scanning for. This? Okay. Cool. There's a container here. Am I allowed to steal from this? Is it stealing? I'm the pathfinder. <laughs> it's still stealing. But apparently that's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and we will take a look at what Sam has to say for us with that new data that we're providing.